Right, so I'm here with Steve from Backcountry Nights Cycle Training. Uh, Steve's going to demonstrate to us what he looks for when he's prepping the bike ready to go out. Yeah, cool. So uh, we're on a module two today. Um, so we need to make sure the bike's in a good condition. We need to make sure it's a good condition to be able to ride anyway. Yeah. But especially more so on test. So we're checking that all the electrics are working. Yeah. So I'm making sure that the indicators are working proper front and back. Okay. Both sides. Right, so making sure that everything's coming on. Yeah. Okay. Checking the headlamp. Right, so making sure that the lights are working fine. Everything's nice and clean. Looking for the high beam and the low beams working okay. Yeah. Going to the back of the bike. When the lights are in the opposite position, we're making sure that the tail lamp is working. Yeah. So the tail lamp is on and we can check the rear brake like so. Looking for the reflection of the hand. Yeah. We turn the handlebars into the right hand side. All right, we can check the front brake also. Looking for the reflection of the hand. Obviously, best of that off road so you're not standing in the road while you're just yeah. checking the bike down. Uh, last thing we look for is making sure the horn is working. Just in case. Yes. All right. You never know, do you? <laughs> you never know when you're going to need that. So guys, these are the kind of checks that you all should be carrying out before you take your bike out every time. Okay, so we come down here to Wheelhouse in Coesley to Lou on the Thunder Ace. Um, she was handling very, very badly and it was because of the tyres. So we've got to get ready for Ireland. So we come down here, we've got nice new rubber now on the tyres. So she should handle 100% better. To give you an idea, this is the old front tyre. You can see the profile where you've got the flaps each side. The tyre has been run deflated, which means you've been running on these edges and not this. So as soon as the tyres relax, you can see now it's like a triangle tyre. To give you more impact of what it looks like, here we have a nice brand new Continental. We put the two together and you can clearly see the shapes between the two tyres. And this is the problem why she's handling so badly. So guys, whenever you're out on your bikes, check your tyres, make sure you've got good rubber. This is what saves your life.